Today, my thoughts are with Sarah Everard. My heart goes out to her family and to all who knew her. On the 3rd of March, 2021, Sarah was abducted, raped and murdered by a serving police officer. What was done to her was an act of pure evil at the hands of someone whose duty it was to protect her and it shocked the nation to its core. We turn to the police in the hardest moments of our lives because we feel like we should be safe in their hands. This is the feeling that must be true for both women and girls, as much as it is for any other member of society. Sarah was failed by the people who were supposed to keep her safe. Exposing issues in policing and indeed in wider society that must be fixed. In the years since Sarah was murdered, forces have undertaken reforms to identify and to kick out officers unfit to wear the uniform and to stop the wrong people getting into the forces in the first place. We've also made violence against women and girls a national policing priority. Now, there is still work to be done, and I am committed to working with the police to regain the public's confidence in our forces. It is only the strong leadership and zero tolerance approach that will take us to a time where we can finally say that we have ended violence against women and girls for good.